Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're working on another one of our Once Upon a Princess, uh, princess inspired um, outfits. And today I'm going to be doing the Elsa inspired dress which uses the Be Dreamy pattern with the sleeve of the School Cool um, dress. Um, it's super cute, it's super easy and simple and your little one will love looking just like Elsa. So it is, I am so excited about it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Before I do though, let me remind you about our fun fan giveaway of $50 Alien Maggie certificate and all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and comment below and you are entered for our giveaway. So go ahead and do that. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and then comment below. And also I wanted to remind you about all our other princess inspired outfits that we have um, that are part of that capsule and we have videos for those as well. So go check those out and make your little ones some beautiful dresses that they will love. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to grab our liner and our outers. So I have, we're, I'm using white for that top part, um, which on, um, it kind of, it's just like a top part and then the bottom is going to be blue. And then I'm going to add some, uh, I'm going to add some tool to the back to make kind of like the cape. It's going to be so cute. Okay, so I've got my um, outer and my liner, and I'm using the same fabric for both, so you won't be able to tell a difference, but I'm putting them right side up. So here's the back of my liner, and here's the back of my outer. I'm just going to call them liner and outer for your sake, but really, they're the same fabric, so it doesn't matter. But if you have different fabric, then you're going to put your liner front and back together and your outer front and back together, right sides together. So whatever is your liner, it's going to go right sides together and then whatever is your outer is gonna go right sides together. If you're making the same exact outfit I'm making, you probably have the same colors for the liner or outer. Or if you want to use a different fabric, if you don't have a lot of the same the same kind of fabric and you wanted to use something else for a liner, um, you can do that as well. Um, but just make sure that you have your liner front and back together, your outer front and back together at the shoulders first. So we're going to sew the shoulders together of them both of them. So I'm going to go sew these together. My shoulders are sewn together and I'm going to open them. So this will be my right side up. This is the right side where there's no uh, seams showing. And then I'm going to put my other side right on top. So it doesn't matter if it's a liner or the outer, they're just right on top of each other, outer and liner, right sides together on top of each other. And I'm going to pin around the neck because I'm going to sew those them together at the neck area. I'm using my serger for all this, for my seams, but you can use either your serger or a zigzag stitch. We're gonna go all the way around the neck to sew that together. So I'm just gonna pin, and then I'm gonna sew. I've sewn my neck all the way around, and now I'm gonna turn it right side out. So I'm just gonna open that in and tuck that first part in through that neck so I can turn it right side out. As you can see, now I've got my neck right there, neckline. I'm gonna go ahead and steam that neckline. Be careful with whatever fabric you're using. If you're using a fabric that you can't steam, be careful that you don't burn it. Um, you do need to use a knit fabric. I am using, this is a double brush poly for the top. Okay, and then for the bottom, I'm using a really pretty cotton uh, spandex that I got. I think it's a cotton spandex or a rayon spandex. Okay, so then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it so I can grab my outers and my liners together. Okay, so here's my outers together and there's my liners together. And I'm going to sew the side seams 
I'm gonna sew these side seams right here. One side seam, the other side seam. So there are gonna be four of them. I'm gonna sew them because my sleeve is going to go in, we're gonna put it in uh, inset sleeve, okay? Make sure they're not turned or crooked, but you're going to go ahead and sew those side seams. So let me go ahead and sew those, and then we'll put our sleeves in. Sides are sewn together, we can turn it back around. And we're gonna leave it, I'm going to leave mine inside out. So I want my wrong side, my liner side to be out. My uh, my uh, right side is on the inside right now. So I'm gonna put it aside and we're gonna fill, uh, we're gonna do our sleeves. Like I said, this is the sleeve from the school cool um, dress, the long sleeve version. And I'm going to match up those raw edges at the inside seam and the right sides together. And I'm going to sew that inseam right here at that raw edge. So I'm gonna sew that sleeve together. I'm gonna do it for both. Once my sleeve has been sewn on the raw edge, I'm going to go to the front and I'm gonna mark that, that top area. I'm just gonna do like a little notch right there to show where that top area is. Um, the notch is not very big, it's just small. I will eat it when I sew my, my sleeve onto my dress. Um, then I'm gonna grab my pattern piece and as you can see, there is a gather in between line. So I'm gonna place it right on top of my sleeve, match that up, and then over here where that line is, I'm gonna put a pen and I'm gonna mark it right here because that's where I'm going to gather from and to. Marking both sides. So I've got, I'm gonna start my gathers right here and go all the way around that cap and go over there to the other side. And how I'm gonna gather this sleeve is I'm just using a long basting stitch on my sewing machine. It's just a long straight stitch on my sewing machine. I started that first mark and I'm going all the way around that top cap. And I'm stopping at that second mark. And I'm gonna pull out. So my tension on my sewing machine is a little bit tight, so it already gathers it for me. But if you hadn't, if it didn't gather on your end, you will just pull in one of these threads and gather it as much as you need to gather it. For the sleeve, oh, I should be turning the sleeve right side out. I'm gonna turn it right side out right now. For the sleeve to be able to fit into your arm size. So here's my arm size. And uh, uh, like I said, the inside, What's on the inside is my right side because I wanna match right side to right side. So I'm gonna grab the sleeve and I'm gonna fit it in. And the right side of my sleeve is touching the right side of my right fabric, my outer fabric, which is on the inside. And I'm gonna match at that first, at that raw edge. I'm gonna trim all these serger tails because they're kind of driving me insane. I don't know if you're looking at them like I'm looking at them, but I'm like, ah! Okay, so here's my seam, and I'm gonna make sure that both of my liner and outer are together, and I'm gonna attach that seam right here to the bottom of my sleeve, and then I'm gonna go all the way to the top, here where my top of my shoulder is, right here, and that's where I'm going to attach that little piece that I notched, that little piece that I marked off, as my top, I'm gonna put it right there. And I wanna make sure that my sleeve fits in here. And as you can see, because I gathered enough, it fits just right. So I'm gonna pin right here. Actually, I'm gonna take this pin off because it's the wrong way. I don't need it right there. I'm gonna pin it right here. Now, I am making the smallest size, so that's why it's like, oh, it's like I'm working with almost like doll size clothing right here. What's really cool too is that we've got this, uh, the doll version of this of these patterns. We also offer that, so you can make the doll version of these patterns. So now as you can see, it is in there. And I'm gonna sew all the way around to attach that sleeve. Right side of the sleeve touching the right side of the fabric. And as I'm sewing up here, I'm gonna make sure that my gathers stay. And this is gonna give it like a really cute poof right here on the top. 
So that's gonna be really cute. So I'm gonna do the same thing for both sleeves. My sleeves are on and I love the little look that it gives it when it's gathered up here at the top. So it almost kind of looks like a very fancy little sleeve, super cute. Now, if you want to, I am going to be adding some tool to the back um, so that when I sew my bodice and my skirt together, you'll have this layer of tool in the back that will look kind of like a cape. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab my bodice, the right side of my bodice, and I'm gonna grab my tool. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my tool and I'm going to gather my tool to the width of my bodice, to the width of my bodice, and, um, and then I'll baste it on. So if you can see, I just kind of folded my tool and then I'll tear it later, um, just about two widths of the bodice. So here's one and then another, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and gather it on my sewing machine. And how I'm gonna gather it is the same way that I gathered my sleeve. I'm using a long basting stitch and doing it all the way across. Then I'll pull it together and gather it. As you can see, I have that long basting stitch. I'm pulling on this to make it um, gather just the width of my bodice right there. Okay, then I'm gonna pin it to my bodice and I'm going to um, uh, baste it on just to the back bodice, just to the back part right here. And then when I go to sew my bodice, so I'm gonna baste it on just a long straight stitch to baste it on. And then when I go to sew my bodice and my um, skirt together, this will be, this tool will be sandwiched right in there and it will act as a little pretty cape behind uh, the dress. So that's going to be gorgeous. So I'm just kind of pinning it, making sure my gathers are good, and then I'm gonna go ahead and baste it on. After I baste it on, then we're gonna go ahead and put our skirt together, and then we'll put our skirt and our bodice together, and we'll be done. All right, so as you can see, that has been basted on to the right side of my fabric so then when I base when I sew it on it will be just like it comes from the back like a little cape super cute now we're gonna grab our skirt now I'm not putting pockets on this one if you are putting pockets on it then you would attach your pockets first um, but I am just going to go ahead and put the front and back together and isn't this so beautiful it's like an ombre effect so it's like lighter and it goes darker um, so I think this is gonna be adorable. So I'm grabbing my front and back and I'm meeting them right sides together uh, over here on the side raw edge. And I'm going to go ahead and sew that raw edge on both sides. So I'm gonna sew this side together and the other side together as well. So I'm gonna sew those raw edges. All right, so now that I've got my bodice and my skirt put together, oh, that's gonna be so cute. I'm going to mark my centers. Um, my sides are gonna be my quarter, so I'm gonna fold it the right side, the sides together, and I'm gonna go and mark my back and my front. And I'm gonna do the same for my bodice. So my sides, I'm gonna match those two side seams. I'm gonna go to the front. Make sure that your liner and your outer are together at the raw edge when you're doing that and when you go to attach so that you are indeed attaching your liner and your outer not just one or the other okay so now what I can do is right sides of the bodice and actually let me turn my skirt inside out that way I'll do it this way I'm gonna fit my bodice and my cape inside my skirt Okay, and now your, uh, your tool is going to be sandwiched between your bodice and your skirt. And I'm gonna match up that raw edge. Now make sure when you're sewing that on, that your tool is still sticking up. So you're catching that tool as you're sewing it on. I'm gonna match those side seams. That front mark that I made, right sides together and then that other side seam. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew the whole thing together. We'll hem and we'll be done. 
I always like to start at the back. So I'm gonna start right here at the back where that tool is, making sure that tool is cut there. We wanna make sure that the tool is cut. We wanna make sure that all the layers of the bodice are cut and we're gonna draw this off. Okay, now to the front. And we're gonna go all the way around the front, all the way around the whole dress. So we are finished with our Elsa dress. How cute is this? I'm going to steam those seams to make them lay flat. Um, we always want to steam them all going the right way so that way they lay flat. And I like to turn it inside out to steam it uh, because it, I think it does, uh, I can see the seam better so I know exactly which way I want it to go. I'm going to steam that. Oh, my iron turned off. And then I'm going to, after I steam that, see how they're wavy up and down? I want to steam them down. I can remove that basting stitch of my tool in just a minute. And then we're going to um, hem. And I am, and we're doing a half inch allowance on the sleeves. So I'm just folding that half inch and steaming. And then a half an inch allowance also on our... Uh, dress. I'm going to go ahead and fold that half inch allowance on everything, steam everything, and then we're going to go over to, I'm going to go over to my cover stitch and top stitch hem and we'll be done. All right, I am done hemming and Elsa is all finished. As you can see, she's got her nice cape in the back, beautiful cape and pretty dress with the awesome little poof sleeves. And the uh, it just looks amazing. It looks super cute. I am so in love with it. Um, if you need to trim it, you might want to trim it if it's too long on you. The tool, really, I didn't have any measurements. I just kind of folded it. And like I said, double the bodice and then the length that I wanted. Um, and there it is. It's our finished dress. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. Uh, please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Come see us on our Facebook or Instagram page. Come share what you're making. We want to see what you're making so we can be inspired. And we want you to see what everybody else is making so they can inspire you. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!